Hello everyone, Luke Flywalker here with another edition of SL Aviation Magazine. This is issue 52. We had a busy week here at SL Aviation Network with the White Star Safety and Security Exposition and the kickoff of the Second Life 14th birthday celebration and we had reporters at both and we're going to have some awesome clips here for you our two new reporters that we've just added to the staff is mr quinn avery the wonder dog and sheree honeyflower and they've done some excellent work and you'll be seeing their contributions here uh in just a minute We'd also like to thank T.J. Lush of Lush Audio for providing us with the awesome opportunity of being the walkway stream at the Second Life birthday celebration. So if you're out and about over there on the grid checking out all the awesome displays as SL14B, turn on your player and listen to the MTFB radio crew work their magic. Okay, let's get on with the show. First, we'll go over to SL14B and check out the action there. The 23rd of June marks 14 years of Second Life, which was launched on this date in 2003 by Linden Labs based in San Francisco, USA, a small community which flourished with people over years from across the world who are all part of the Second Life community. This year's birthday celebration is carnivalesque with an impressive line of DJs, artists, displays, and more to see with 18 Sims to keep you occupied as you explore and join in with the celebration of an incredible 14 years of virtual gaming where the player creates their gaming world forever changing and developing in an organic nature. There are displays by various role-playing communities who are sharing with us something about their communities. Like walking into the light, we log into Second Life where we enjoy our other lives, whatever that may be. The sailors and pilots, beasts and vampires, elves, dwarves, the dance clubs, and places of sexual interest, the eras of dinosaurs through a futuristic themes, we are Second Life where we can express ourselves with pixel possibilities. If it's been thought of, it exists in Second Life, or it's coming soon. Second Life's 14th birthday opens on the 18th of June in full swing from 12 noon until the final day on June 25th. The program can be found at www.slcommunitycelebration.info, which has all the information you need, including programs of what is happening. There are also free gifts all over the place, so don't forget to drop in to pick up your free Second Life birthday gifts just for you. This year's birthday celebration is one celebration you don't want to miss. You'll need to visit several times through the eighth days should you wish to see as much as possible. This article was contributed by aviation reporter Cherie Honeyflower. You can check out all of her blogs at virtuallycherie.wordpress.com. Hello, Luke, and hello, everyone. I'm coming to you from day four of this colossal Second Life Carnival birthday celebration, and it's been a real hoot so far. Come on down. It's showtime for Second Life. It looks like all the best builders from around the SL planet have gotten together here for this truly massive event. I've been taking some pictures with my cell phone, and uh, I sent them to you. If you would uh, pop them up on the screen uh, to show everybody, that would be good. Awesome. Perfect. Spoiler alert. I will be showing pictures from inside the event, so you may want to take your children into the other room. Everywhere you go, the central tent that covers four sims is actually a dance floor inside which is set to full bright and looms over this event like a hot August moon. I am so completely enjoying the exhibits here this year. Each of them is a work of art. This is like getting lost inside a science and industry museum. After four days of roaming here, I am still only about 50% point of seeing everything at least once. I am standing on the delightful SL Aviation plot 
put together by Mr. Jules Sixpence on the bits of Second Life Aviation's spellbound sim. What a wonderful tribute to the men and women that script mesh planes and to the community that has grown up around them. Of special note here is the Japanese geisha build in Kodo Sweet Serenity on the Beguile sim created by Yumiko Mulan and Stephanie Asila for a beautiful build making this truly an international and intercontinental event. These plots consist of advertisements for many role play sims and are dioramas to display private collections that are normally hidden in people's inventory such as the British doll collection that is just spectacular. Firestorm Viewer has a plot here along with the Dirty Grind, a creator's guild. There are also many, many networking connections that could be made here if you wanted to be invited deeper into SL. This is a good place to get information. There are many free gifts and note cards being given out everywhere. Now, just directly north of the SL aviation plot is Early Summer Serenity on Beguile Sim, where Tanami is giving away a free airplane which looks to be an Extreme 500, but personally, I am really fascinated by her little test plane. I'm going to have to make me one of these. Now, if we travel directly south of the SL Aviation plot, down to stupendous and mesmerized sims, you would find a behemoth mythical three-headed djinn or demon that may just qualify among the record holders for the largest animated prims in SL. The scale is astounding and makes me feel like I'm a Lilliputian on some evil Gulliver's Travel sequel. To the east of the djinn is the awesome sim which is part amusement park underwater dance club, guided hang glider tour, go-kart racetrack, and miniature Jurassic Park. There are four massive dance floors here. You can easily find them by just following the clusters of little green dots. And there are many other things to do. And even though the fairgrounds are open to the public, building here still continues. You can never be sure what a plot will look like tomorrow. If you look in the Second Life Destination Guide, it has links to shopping places and quests that have plots here at the carnival. I hope you all can make it down here before July 28th. This is Quinn Avery from MTFB News. Back to you, Luke, and the Broadcast Center. Wow, thank you for that awesome report, Quinn. Please check out the SL14 birthday display today. Now on to the White Star Airfield for our report on the Safety and Security Show. This was a fantastic event put together by Samantha Hahn and sponsored by Krim Mip, owner of White Star. This event features many of the Second Life first responder role-playing groups from firefighters to law enforcement, search and rescue, and Coast Guard units. Also featured were several equipment manufacturers. It was an action-packed two days, and as Samantha said, it's the worst day you'll have in SL, referring to all the disasters that were simulated there. I had the privilege of doing several live radio broadcasts from the event, and we shot a ton of video footage. So please enjoy the White Star Safety and Security Exposition, complete with audio clips from the MTFB radio broadcast. Sophie Redwood shared with me the following information about SARMS UK. What does SARMS UK stand for? Search and Rescue Emergency Medical Service United Kingdom. We have taken the ranks of Her Majesty's Coast Guard and part of the Norwegian Ministry of Justice Department of Civil Emergency and Rescue. Our mission is respect for human life and solidarity in time of need. 
What services do SARMS UK provide? They deliver an independent search and rescue service and medical transportation service for everyone. We also started a mountain rescue. If I have an emergency and need assistance, how do I call? Our group is tech, so we have bots at our station who will pass on any message for help straight to me when I'm online. We are also on the Blake C Control Group channel and on Grid Talkie, and I myself do have a pager, so we are just a radio call away. Event leader Samantha Han shared the following speech at the opening of the expo. Okay, we're out of time for issue 52. Please stay tuned for SL Aviation Magazine issue 53, where we'll show you part two of the White Star Safety and Security Expo. Until next time, this is Luke Flywalker saying blue skies and happy flying.